So this message is for Nigerians, specifically Umundibu. Now, as a Nigerian woman, I know it is not my place to talk about certain things based on our culture. However, since I haven't seen any Christian men talking about this, I'm going to take the torch lights <laughs> and talk about this. Now, there's something that we have called masquerades. Evil people refer to it as a mo. And these are essentially the embodiment of our deceased ancestors, right? So these are oftentimes represented in different masks and costumes or different types. The Adama masquerade that a lot of us know. We also have, again, different types of masquerades, right? So they usually roll masquerades out during chieftaincy, um, New Yam festival, burials and things of that nature, Christmas, okay. But I'm here to tell you that masquerades are not something that Christians should be participating in. There's a verse in scripture that tells us that we should have no fellowship with the fruitful works of darkness. And when you look at what masquerades are, this is necromancy. We should not be talking to, communicating with, or being entertained by the deceased spirit of our ancestors. Because we know in the end, once you die, it's judgment. The dead know nothing. So who or what is it that is being invoked into these individuals? We know that this is typically done only by men. And even when the masquerades are done, it's done secretly, privately. And we know that God does not operate in secret. There are so many things we can look at and we look at it scripturally that we can analyze and say that masquerades are not of God. Now, there are things in our culture that we may love, we grew up on, but these things directly go against what's in the word of God. If you know me, you know I carried Ibo on my head. <laughs> you know I was the person who was a proprietor of our culture. And if you know my father, you know exactly what I mean as well. He is the same way. And so I urge you all as Christians who are Igbo to search your heart and to really begin to ask yourself what is it about my culture that goes against Christ? And ask yourself if you're willing to walk away from some things that you hold so dearly in your culture in order to follow God truly. Because when we stand before the throne of God in judgment, we won't be able to justify these things because God will direct us to the word and say, what did my word say about these things? If you know better, you'll do better. And I'm challenging you all today to begin to do better. Leave these masquerades alone. Be blessed.